Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys today. I'm giving you guys my review of Deadpool, the very first Deadpool that came out in 2016, directed by Tim Miller, starring Ryan Reynolds. And um, yeah, I know I've, I've reviewed this film like a while ago when the movie came out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my re-review of this movie just because obviously I'm reviewing every single X-Men movie leading up to Deadpool 3. So I might this is the one I'm going up next. The next one I would be reviewing is X-Men Apocalypse, which I'm actually excited to review that movie. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this review. Like I said, this is Deadpool starring Ryan Reynolds. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new to my uh, YouTube channel, if this is the first time you're seeing my YouTube channel, welcome to the Alex Thomas channel. Please hit that like button, please subscribe for more, and let's get in into this review. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, like I said, this is Deadpool directed by Tim Miller starring Ryan Reynolds. And we, uh, if you guys didn't know the gist of how this movie came to be, um, at first, Ryan Reynolds really wanted to make this movie a while ago, so that's why he plays Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine. He really wanted to get a good crack at playing the character, and he's been working within, you know, trying to make, well, at the time, was making a script for this character to actually make a Deadpool movie. Obviously, it did not go through, um, and then, um, there was a, some leaked footage of, like, some, like, CGI Deadpool, like, trailer thing going on around, you know, I remember seeing it for the first time, like, oh, maybe this is going to happen. And, um, you know, I think it, it was obviously voiced by Ryan Reynolds. And it was a, it was basically the sequence we see in the beginning of the movie with them on the highway with Deadpool taking out the trucks. That was basically what the CGI trailer was. And it was basically just giving us a hint that what a Deadpool movie could be. Obviously, Fox saw that they can actually do this. And when they went ahead and greenlit the movie. And right off the bat, um, this movie is great. Uh, for it to be, I think, the first rated R Fox X-Men movie, um, I love that they went above and beyond what we thought they were going to do. The fact that it's rated R, the fact that it's, it's pretty graphic, um, you know, uh, you know, violent and sexual, like all that stuff, they pretty kind of go all the way with this movie. Um, I love that they took the chance with this. Um, obviously, the movie is extremely funny. Ryan Reynolds kills it as the character of deadpool he was born to play this character it's like every time you see the deadpool character at least every time i see him i cannot get ryan reynolds voice or face out of my mind when i see the character um at the time when this movie came out, i wanted to buy the deadpool game because i wanted to play as this character uh just because he was so great in the movie obviously i don't think the character in the game is voiced by ryan reynolds so that's kind of what made me not want to buy the game but um, i heard the game was actually pretty fun but i'm um, going back to this um i think ryan reynolds did a really good job with playing the character of deadpool very charismatic hilarious um he's very good with the action he looks great in the suit um and i just think he was born to play this character he really was born to play this character and we got to give credit to tim miller i think he did a really good job with the direction um i love the way this movie looks um the fact that the movie kind of looks a lot of gray but then when you see deadpool he kind of sticks out like sore thumbs since he have an all red suit um i do like the way they took this whole angle i love that the movie starts out with basically this one scene like so is deadpool taking out these trucks to find francis is the guy who actually made him like deadpool and they keep like cutting back to flashbacks of how a uh, way became deadpool but it's all structured behind this um you know just this one sequence of him uh you know stopping these trucks to find out where francis is i love how it's structured this way um and also i love that this movie is technically a love story it's technically a love story and i love that he points out saying no this is not an action movie this is a love story um because obviously he finds his his girl vanessa is, is it vanessa i can't think of her name is but he finds out you know his girl he finds his girl and of course they have like a nice little romantic relationship um he finds out he has cancer and someone approaches him about you know finding a way to cure him and obviously it's like kind of like the weapon x uh program and stuff for him um and i i just love the way this movie is structured i really do um uh go let's go ahead and with the uh the uh, let's talk about the other cast members i think everyone works in the movie for what they are um probably my least favorite character in the movie is probably tj miller as the comic relief um i thought he was fine he, he really didn't st st stick out like a sore thumb ryan Reynolds was way more funnier than he was for sure um 
but I thought he was okay. The actress who play, um, I think it's her, is her name, Vanessa. I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm, I'm messing up. Is her name Vanessa? I'm thinking if that's her name. Um, but she was really good in the movie as the love interest. I thought she really was good. Um, the guy who plays Francis, aka Ajax, <laughs> name, and I love that he finds out his name is Francis, and that's all they keep saying. Where's Francis? Where's Francis? I'm looking for Francis. This is hilarious. I thought he was pretty good in the movie as well as the villain. Um, Gina Carano shows up as like the hint, as like the muscle. Um, she's decent in the movie. She's not great, but she's decent in the movie. Um, she looks really good in the movie, um, but uh, she's she's cool. Um, who else? Uh, the, the actor who plays, um, damn, what's his name? Uh, Mega Mega Sons Teenage War. I think she's she's good in the movie too. Um, damn, what is his name? Oh, Colossal. Damn, Colossus. I can't think of his. I, I, literally, his name just blanked out of my head. The actor who plays him is really good as well i love that they went with the russian accent and i love that he looks like massive like he just looks huge um in the movie and i love that there's a scene where deadpool is like literally like hitting him and he's breaking every single one of his limbs it's hilarious um as i said we got to give credit to ryan reynolds he like nails this character and like I said, I think they, like I said, yeah, all, all, most of the actors are fine in the movie, but obviously the standout is Ryan Reynolds. He, he's the standout in this movie for sure. Um, I love that they went all the way and did the fourth wall breaking. He's literally talking to the audience and stuff like that. I love that. And also I love that he technically doesn't start talking to, talking to, the, you know, breaking the fourth wall until he becomes Deadpool. Like when he becomes Deadpool, he starts talking to the audience. But before he wasn't, like as when he was regular Wade, before he got the powers, he wasn't talking to the camera. But right when he becomes Deadpool, he's talking to the camera. So I just love that they did that nice little touch with um, with the movie. Um, let's go ahead and get to, like I said, let's go ahead and get and talk about the action. I think the action is stellar. Um, Ryan Reynolds really does, if it is him, or at least, you know, with the stunt though or whatever, they do really good with um, Deadpool's uh, the fight choreography, the way he uses the swords, the way he uses the guns. All that stuff, I think, is great. Um, and I love how graphic this movie is. I love how violent this movie is. I just love that they went all the way and just, you know, just basically just said, F it, you know, it's going to be rated R. Let's just go ahead and do it. And it became a success. The movie made over $700 million. It was a real big success. At the time, it was the highest grossing rated R movie of all time. Um, and for 2016, for this to start off the year, because of course we had Civil War and we had Doctor Strange, we had some we had some really good superhero movies come out in that year. Um, and obviously we had X Men Apocalypse, but Deadpool to start off the year. I mean, like I said, I remember going to see this movie and be like, man, they really nailed a Deadpool movie. They really did. Um, so uh, uh, overall, I do like you know what they did with the character. I love how charismatic and funny that the character that deadpool is and i said i think ryan reynolds was the perfect person to play this character um some of my favorite scenes with him you know is obviously most of the time when he's talking to us as the audience but like the montage of him you know making trying to get his suit right and killing everyone you know to try to find out who's francis it's so funny because he's literally asking them when where's francis while he's killing he's really killing them before they can give it give them an answer you know it's just hilarious that he really doesn't know how to look for somebody it's hilarious um but like i said i love all the stuff with uh i love the interactions between megasonic the teenage warhead and colossus i love all that stuff um i love the fact that he points out like why are you guys the only two heroes here like where is everyone else uh, of course he says the studio couldn't afford any other x-men um you know, I love, like, there's little things, the attention to detail with this movie. Like, I love the opening credits. The opening credits is hilarious. I love the song choices in this movie. I, I don't know if everyone has ever talked about that. I love the song choices in this movie. They really work with the theme of the movie, at least, you know, the vibe of the movie. I really like what they did with that as well. Um, you know, like I said, overall, I, I just really do believe they nailed this movie. Um... You know, is it overrated? No, I don't believe it's overrated. Because I've been hearing people say this movie is overrated. You guys are tripping. This movie is not overrated. Um, it's a nice rewatch. I can see myself rewatching this movie. Um, you know, uh, I, it's just a fun time. It really is just a fun time. And like I said, I think every, it, it just works. It does. Ryan Reynolds, I will see, is the shining star of this movie. He really was born to play this character. I know I keep saying that, but he really was. He really was born to play Wade Wilson. 
Deadpool. He was, for sure. So, yeah. Um, that's just my review of um, Deadpool. I just had to get my review out real quick because I'm trying to get through all throughout all the X-Men movies before Deadpool 3. I know Deadpool 3 doesn't come out till July, but I'm trying to get these movies just out the way because there are a lot of them. I still got X-Men Apocalypse, Logan, um, Deadpool 2, Dark Phoenix, and New Mutants. So, I still got five more movies to watch before I get to Deadpool 3. So, um yeah, overall, I, obviously, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, Ryan Reynolds is great. Um, I love how violent it is. Um, I love that they really took the leap and did what they did with this film. Um, I love the fourth wall, uh, you know, jokes and stuff like that. I love that they did that. Um, and, yeah, this this movie is just a fun time. It really is. And I, I do buy the love story. I do like the love story in this movie, too. I really do think it works. Um, um, so, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed my review, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I gotta say this just because this movie is in this movie. I'm never gonna dance again. I love that they played that song in this movie. I love that they played that. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm on this one, you guys. Peace out.